Hello, my name is Julissa Esquivel and I'm a government major at UT. However, today I'm going to talk to you about Harold Adam Innes and the bias of communication. Harold is a political economist and is widely credited with initiating an important discourse on media from a distinctly Canadian perspective. He directly influenced Marshall McLennan and continues to be a central figure in the communications theory. Innes was born in 1894 in Hamilton, Ontario, graduated from McMaster just before World War I and saw frontline duty in France. His war experience definitely impacted what he did next with his life. From the end of World War II until his death in 1952, Innes worked on an investigation of the social history of communication, studying the communication media of the last 4,000 years. In his introduction of the bias of communication, Marshall McLennan suggests that reading Innes shows us a new way to read history. Innes' central focus is on the social history of communication media. He believed that a relative stability of cultures depends on the balance and proportion of their media. For Innes, a key to social change is found in the development of communication media. He claims that each median embodies a bias in terms of the organization and controls of information. Any empire or society is generally concerned with the duration over time and extension in space. Time-biased media, such as stone and clay, are durable and heavy. It favors the preservation of knowledge over a long period of time. Since they are difficult to move, they do not encourage territorial expansion. However, since they have a long life, they do encourage the extension of the empire over time. Innes associated these medias with the customary, the sacred, and the moral. Time-biased media facilitates the development of social hierarchies. For Innes, speech is a time-based medium. Space-biased media, such as Twitter or satellite radio, are media that are light and portable. They can be transported over large distances. It favors the dissemination, the spread of knowledge of great distances. They are associated with securely or territorial societies. They facilitate the expansion of empire over space. Paper is such a medium. It is readily transported but has relatively short lifespan. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed my presentation.